Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these health-wise meals. This one is the chicken enchilada verde. Uh, it's microwavable, 8 ounces or 227 grams. We bought these at Walmart online. You can find them online. I've never seen them in the store, but you could buy them online. They were $5.89, which I think is ridiculously expensive, but we'll see. We'll see what they're like. Um, this is a shelf-stable meal, so it just sits in your cabinet. You don't um, you don't have to refrigerate it or freeze it or anything like that. Um, yeah, that basically says the same thing it always says. All right. It is 230 calories, and there's your other info. So you can do this in a stove top, which basically just sticking it in a pan and heating it up. Of course, we don't do stoves. We do ovens, microwave ovens. So we're going to peel back the lid to vent, um, microwave it high for one minute, rotate it, and do another uh, half minute. I usually don't rotate it because I get the carousel thing, so I just stick it in there for 90 seconds. Uh, let it sit for 30 seconds, and then peel off the lid and serve. So... Don't think there's probably gonna be much you can see. Yeah, you really can't see much with this. But let me pull up a corner to vent, and that's all you can see, literally. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in the microwave, and I'll be back. Hey, so here it is, out of the microwave, and I have to be honest with you, it doesn't smell very good. Um, let me see if I can cut this in half and see what it looks like inside. I mean, it's pretty well filled, but uh, anyway. I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces where it cools off a little faster and um, then I'll be back once it's cooled off. Hey, okay, I gave it a little time to cool off. So here's the bottom I'm going to take. It has enchiladas, some beans, I think it has a piece of corn. Here we go. The enchilada, the shell itself, this corn uh, tortilla or whatever. It dissolves like it just compresses and goes away and just it's almost like it's not even there kind of a wet soggy piece of like cornbread um flavor wise you know it's the worst thing ever it tastes very cheap like it's um it tastes like something out of a can or or something like that it's really not it's not high quality, let's put it that way. And if there's chicken in here, it must be shredded up like really fine because I, I don't put glasses on so I can see for sure. I think there's, I think I see a little piece of chicken there, uh, but it's very, very tiny little pieces. Um, yeah. I taste mostly the sauce. Um, I don't get really the, the chicken part. I don't see any cheese or taste any cheese. Um, I'll, honestly, I taste just sauce. I wouldn't get this again. I wouldn't recommend you buy it, especially for almost $6. That is stupid ridiculous. Um, this is like, this equates to like one of the dollar meals that you would get at um, the Dollar Tree or something, like a Michelinas or, or one of the but uh, banquet small meals for a dollar or dollar fifty. That's what this is like. It's uh, It's just not... It's just not worth near almost six dollars. That's just like I said. That's just crazy. So this company is definitely uh, ripping people off because there's no way that they're putting that much money into this meal because it tastes like the cheapest possible ingredients they could possibly use, and um, it may be lower calorie, lower sodium stuff like that. But the list of ingredients they have is huge. Um, I don't know. It's just not one I'm gonna get. I would give this a two. The flavors aren't that great. It tastes very cheap, very low quality, and um, and the price is just ridiculous for what you get. So I'm gonna give it a two. It's just not worth buying. Definitely, definitely not worth buying. Uh, if you see these in your area, um, if you see them online, you think, oh, that'd be a good meal to keep in. Um, it's you know health. It's healthy and it's and it's shelf stable. Don't get it because you're wasting your money. It's just not that good. So I um, hope this saves you some money and some uh, making a bad decision on buying this. And I'll catch you next time.